More extreme heat is expected in the southern half of the UK over the next two days. Around 7,000 households in Surrey are being hit by loss of water, while experts warn England's drought could last into next year. The Environment Agency has warned that the drought declared in many parts of England could last into next year. The official declaration yesterday is expected to trigger stricter controls on water use, such as hosepipe bans. The drought announcement covers much of the southwest and parts of southern, central and eastern England. Angus Crawford reports. No more summer paddling here for Debbie, Brian and Anne. Water levels on this part of the Basingstoke Canal in Surrey are just too low. Well, it's going to be hard work because we've got to load the boats onto trailers or onto cars and take them and find somewhere else to go. It is frustrating, yes. In the winter, the water comes up to the top of the rust line. In a normal summer, halfway up. But now it's completely dry. And there's so little water in the main channel that from Monday, all boats are going to be banned. This drought changing lives and landscapes. Lady Bower Reservoir in Derbyshire now half full. I think we've got forecast extremes of weather and that's the thing that we're now seeing um, become the new normal with uh, the climate emergency. And in West Wales, fields of crops threatened by wildfires. In May, the perfect playing surface. But look now, the outfield burnt yellow. Odium in Hampshire has gone more than 40 days without a drop of rain, longer than anywhere else in the country. It's dangerous. It's, they slip when they're bowling. They can fall over trying to field a ball, and it's, it's dangerous. So we have gone from having to water our square maybe once a week, twice a week, just to keep it in good nick, um, to now doing it at least once a day. Rain is on the way, but the authorities warn the drought could be with us for months to come. Angus Crawford, BBC News. There's a stark warning today that the drought triggered by this summer's heat waves could last for months to come if there's no significant rain in the coming months. But as temperatures continue to bake in the south of the UK, thunderstorms are predicted in the north for tomorrow. And as Neil Connery reports, there's yet more warnings today about the dangers of disposable barbecues after one is believed to have caused a serious wildfire. As parts of the country swelter in high temperatures, the risks from fires remains high. Fire crews believe this blaze at Studland Heath in Dorset may have been caused by a disposable barbecue. The Met Office Fire Severity Index for areas of southern England is at its highest level with tinder dry ground. We believe it started in the far distance uh, down near the beach um, uh, and sadly but not surprisingly we found remnants of a disposable barbecue and a small campfire and campsite there. With drought now declared in large swathes of England by the Environment Agency, the urgency of the challenge has been brought home. This is Ardingley Reservoir in Sussex, one of the areas included in the drought declaration. Southeast Water, which runs it, has now introduced a hosepipe ban and is urging everyone to use water wisely. My granddaughter, she was saying, I suppose you can see where the greenery is there, how, how it what used to be. And uh, never this low. And I don't, for example, flush the loo as often as I might do. I might take a short. I always take a short shower. I never have. I never really bath unless I have to. I think it is being responsible. Everybody needs to do their bit. After the prolonged dry spell of the past few months, water levels at this reservoir are now just 40 percent. The stark reality of what this drought now means for parts of England couldn't be any clearer. Farmer Maxine May has been forced to start using her winter feed for her cattle because of the drought. It'll cost her between five to ten thousand pounds to replace. As farming bears the brunt, consumers will see prices rising even further as a result. Fields are very, very dry. The grass is it's just like a desert. Um, we're now today starting our winter feed. We feed hay through the winter. We made extra this year, but we've already used the extra. We wouldn't usually start feeding that until October. There are no quick fixes to the drought conditions as this long, dry summer grinds on. Neil Connery, ITV News, Sussex. 
Meanwhile, authorities in France say they've managed to halt the spread of a monster wildfire raging since Tuesday. More than a dozen homes in the southwestern Gironde region have been destroyed.